to Trader Joe's finally. It's been forever and I stocked up on everything. My one grab about Trader Joe's is you find stuff you love and then they don't have it anymore. Does anyone else have that problem? It's like continuously for me. No Zatar seasoning and that's heartbreaking. Hey friends, I'm back with the grocery haul. I finally went to Trader Joe's. Uh, I probably haven't been in like at least two months and I don't have like a single thing left in my free reserve from Trader Joe's. Rio? No, sir. I don't know. He's all into the Trader Joe's haul. But anyhow, yeah, so I went and got my nails done. Actually, I, okay, let me back up. Okay, so right after work, I went and got a pumpkin spiced cream foam cold brew. Then I went and got my nails done and then I went to Trader Joe's. So I really had a really, really basic B day. But anyhow, uh, yeah, let me haul this real quick and show you. And I think the price was great. You know, groceries have been skyrocketing, but I got everything for right, it was like $203 and I did not show you one thing. I already filmed that part. Yeah, the one thing I forgot to show was my husband's beer. So we also got six beers. And so that probably in its own was $20. So I think Trader Joe's is awesome. Their frozen stuff is not that expensive. Uh, their fruits and vegetables I find aren't that expensive and I love their variety. So I don't know. I mean, maybe if you were like straight looking for potatoes, yeah, I'm sure you can get potatoes cheaper at Walmart. But like, if you like, you know, I got gooseberries back there for like $2.99. I guarantee if I find gooseberries at H-E-B, they're gonna be like $6.99 or something like that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Bye. So let's get started with the frozen stuff. So um, some of it is stuff we've had, some of it we have not had, but I got this Cuban style uh, like single serve meal. My husband likes that one. And this one's new. We haven't tried this one. I don't think he's tried this sriracha shrimp bowl but these are a great price they're like 350 each and that's just as cheap as any tv dinners nowadays just got some shredded hash browns because i need those um these chicken cilantro minis are uh, i l absolutely love these and you can have four pieces for only 50 calories rio get off me oh my goodness excuse me and then the chicken goiza pot stickers they're really good too, and it's four for 130 calories. Um, the pork ones are like double the calories, so I just get the chicken just to uh, be less calories. I got the honey walnut shrimp, which I've never had before, but I do like it at Panda Express. And the whole bag is 808 calories, so we'll just divide it by two. Sorry, my husband's trying to watch football. And then this I have not seen. I think it's new. They're uh, Korean spicy stir-fried rice cakes, which I absolutely love the texture of rice cakes. I'm not sure what this flavor is going to be like. Uh, I'm and I don't know really what I'll how I'll uh, serve these, but I just wanted to give them a go. And there's three servings in here, and they're 280 calories per serving. Whoa. And then I got the barbecue teriyaki chicken, which I've never had this one. I was surprised and it is uh 240 calories and for a serving there's four servings this is one of my favorites i love serving this with grilled chicken um it's just the gnocchi with like a red pasta sauce so good and again one cup is 220 calories so and it's three servings in here we typically just divide this bag in two and it's plenty and then I also like the cauliflower gnocchi. I like it better cooked in the air fryer. If you cook it according to their instructions, I feel like it kind of gets mushy. And that is one cup for 140 calories. Everyone's favorite, the mandarin orange chicken. I get that every time if it's there. Same with the like cauliflower gnocchi. And also this one. If these three are there, I pick them up every single time. Okay, I have not tried this spinach artichoke dip. I see a lot of people using this as like pasta sauce and whatnot. So I'm gonna give that a go and you can have two tablespoons for 40 calories. Um, this is another thing I always pick up if it's there, the jasmine rice. I love these, very convenient. One bag is perfect for two people. Uh, how many calories? It is 210 per cup and I really enjoy jasmine rice. 
These are one of the seasonal items. I've never seen pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. I absolutely love toffee. So hopefully these are yummy. They are really high in calories. One cake's 460. But my thought is my husband and I can just like split one one evening and have it like twice. This is something I've always wanted to try. Never picked them up. The Thai banana fritters. I'm thinking these will be so good in the air fryer. And half the package is 270 calories, but I will say it feels very light, like there's not much in the package. This is for my husband, it's a boba kit. I actually don't really care for boba. And to be honest, I have no idea how this works, like what he has to add or anything. I just saw it and just picked it up. It was pretty affordable too. I think Trader Joe's in general is affordable. Um, and then I bought these mini cones and they had like four flavors. I had a really hard time deciding because I wanted to get the pumpkin ginger, but then I was like, I don't know. But anyhow, you can have three of them for 260 calories. So way less than 100 calories per cone. And one cone will be perfect for me. I just know it. So that's all the frozen stuff. Let me move on to the refrigerated. Okay, no particular order. Uh, my husband's out of town for work this week. So you'll see a lot of meat and cheeses. I'm going to make a charcuterie board for me for dinner. So I got this uh, trio pack. And then I also got for me this chicken. You can see Rio Rio. I was like, what'd you get for me? <laughs> I got this chicken pot pie. I've never had this, but I've had other, like the refrigerated meals. And they're usually pretty good. And it's one cup for 209 calories. And it says it's 3.5 servings. So I'll probably make this into two servings and that'll be plenty. It feels heavy. One of my go-to favorite dressings. If you had not tried this dressing, I highly, highly recommend. Um, I like all that are like this type in the refrigerated, but the problem is those are, most of them are really high in calories. This is the only one that's like low cal friendly. Um, the peanut one, the miso one, I, I really like them. But I haven't tried their chimichurri sauce, but I actually love a good chimichurri sauce. Uh, we, I make it sometimes fresh with steak and whatnot. It is higher calorie because it's oil based, but you use it sparingly. Actually, I didn't even look at the calories. I probably wouldn't have purchased it had I looked at the calories, but oh well, if I just put it on grilled chicken or something, it'll be worth it. And tzatziki sauce, I love their tzatziki sauce. It's pretty runny, but I'll put this on uh, wraps or use it as a dip. And it's pretty uh, calorie friendly, two tablespoons for 30 calories. Okay, these meals are really, really good. I've actually had this one before, and I actually put the Green Goddess dressing on this because it's just like a roasted chicken and rice meal. And it can be, the chicken's not dry, I don't wanna say that, but there's no sauce, so to me it really needs that. And this is just single serve, and the whole container is 360 calories. These are a little more expensive, but like I said, I'm home alone this uh, week, so eating anything like this, I'm not cooking. <laughs> And then I picked up my trio of cheeses. I always get at Trader Joe's. I got the light Mexican blend, the Harlsberg light Swiss, which I love, and then the light mozzarella. Those are the cheeses, no matter what, I always pick up. And then, like I said, I'm doing a charcuterie board. So I went ahead and added this blue cheese, which I actually love blue cheese. And it's only 382. Like you can never, even Aldi doesn't sell cheese that cheap. And then this was a seasonal one. I'm not even gonna Rutland red cheese. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. And it's 440 for this amount. I don't know really what it's supposed to taste like, but I don't know. I, I was sorry, I was reading this milk from cows not treated with RBST. I don't even know what that means. Probably need to look into that. And then I got some goat milk cheese with honey. Always gotta have a soft cheese on a cheese tray. And then I know I like this cheese, uh, good truffle cheese. Can't beat that, right? And that one was five twenty, so not bad at all. And I think this is like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine, one of the two. Anyhow, so I'm gonna have lots of meat and cheese. And then I got the Sunbell Golden Berries. I have oh, it says AKA Cape Gooseberries. I don't know if I've ever had a gooseberry. We shall see, but I couldn't pass them up. And then this is uh, Trader Joe's version of the dill chopped salad, which I've never had a dill chopped salad, so I can't wait to give this a go. I got some asparagus. I'll probably roast that up maybe with a chicken pot pie night or something. 
But I love when asparagus is thin like this. It's my fave. And then I got some mini cucumbers, always a go-to. Excuse my dishes in the sink. And then uh, comini mushrooms, also something I always pick up from there. I love to throw these in um, breakfast dishes or even with our roasted asparagus. Excuse me. And then I don't know, I don't think I remember seeing this green mix, but it's baby kale, baby chard, and baby spinach. And it looks like a great mix. And I already have arugula, so that's going to work out great this week. I needed eggs, so I got eggs. I've never bought eggs from there, but, you know, eggs are eggs. As long as they're cage-free. That's what I care about. Okay, over here to the non-refrigerated, non-frozen. Picked up some bananas. I will say, I did not go to the regular grocery store this week because I knew I was home alone. So, uh, I don't usually buy bananas from there, but I did. And they look good. And we always get bars from there because you can buy them individually. So got some cliff bars and then my fave, the Bear Bells. I have not had the chocolate dough yet. So I don't know if it's new or what, but I have not had this one. These two are my go-tos. Absolutely love them. Got me a mini pumpkin. I'm going to take it to work. They had a lot of great pumpkins, but I just didn't want to buy them yet. It's not even October. And if I put them out now, they'll, in this sun, they'll get rotted. But that one's for work. We just got back from Italy and we had amazing pesto. So now I'm craving pesto. So I picked up this small container. I may do that with a gnocchi or something. Enchilada sauce from Trader Joe's. I'll never buy enchilada sauce elsewhere. This is my absolute favorite. I'm picky about my enchilada sauce. Um, if you watched my What I Eat in a Day recently, you would have saw Faro. This is the one I go to. Um, other grocery stores have like similar 10 minute Faro. But the bags at Trader Joe's are $1.99, and I think I paid like $2.99 or $3.99 at my regular grocery store. Um, Fat-free refried beans, just to go to. These little crackers I've never gotten, but I think they'll be great for my uh, charcuterie board. I mean, I have a lot of crackers, but I like them because you can have 16 crackers for 130 calories. Granted, I will not need that many, so that's awesome. Um, another thing we like are these baby bananas. They are literally tiny bananas and they're dried, but they're super soft. So they're not like um, plantain chips, if you will. I have yet to try any of these crisp. Um, these are fig and olive again, my charcuterie board. I think they're going to go really nicely with the goat cheese. And I was just craving some. I've been seeing a lot of people eating them and I'm like, oh, I need to give those a go. Okay, this is the one snack I already got into. I had to try it. It is pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. And I have to tell you, they are delicious. You probably saw other people talk about these. So freaking good. Oh, sorry, I haven't been given the calories. Crap. Okay, these are a fourth a cup for 150. So you don't need to eat many at one time. But for on top of a salad, these will be awesome. Um, what else? Let's see. I got some breadsticks. I This is another go-to for me for there. They're only 120 calories each. And I actually freeze them, and then we just pull them out the night we need them. This was an impulse buy right at the register. Uh, it got me because it was like 100 calories per bar. And they were fairly cheap. And I think, how many are in here? Well, that's annoying. It says two bars. There's 2.5 servings. Am I confused? That's weird because it says 100 calories per bar. So what? They only give me two and a half bars? I don't know. We'll see. I had to update you. Oh, but that's weird. Okay, I'm really confused. Because now down here it says 5.63 ounce bars. So here it's saying 0.63 or 18 gram is a bar, which is 100 calories. Oh, sorry. Yeah, never mind. Da, da, da. This is for two bars, not one. Were y'all yelling at me? <laughs> Anyhow, and then it can't be Trader Joe's without picking something up from the doggies. And it has to be grain free. A big boy's uh, has grain allergy, so 100% has to be grain free. They always have a good option. And the last thing which I've never tried are the blue corn tortilla chips. We just needed tortilla chips, and I always like blue corn at the restaurant, so I figured what the hell. So that is it spread out all over my kitchen. I had not been to Trader Joe's in months and months. We have really ran down like our stockpile of everything in the freezer. So yesterday we did Costco, which... I didn't film that. Sorry, we were in a rush. Today, Trader Joe's.